Hello, this is for day 312 of Bible in one year and our Bible text, Jeremiah chapters 43 to 45 and then Hebrews chapter 5. So we'll begin with Jeremiah chapter 43. And it came to pass that when Jeremiah had made an end of speaking unto all the people, all the words of the Lord their God, for which the Lord their God had sent him to them, even all these words. Then spake of Zariah the son of Hoshiah, and Johanan the son of Zariah, and all the proud men, saying unto Jeremiah, Thou speakest falsely. The Lord our God had not sent thee to say, Go not into Egypt to sojourn there. But Baruch the son of Neriah set us thee and against us, for to deliver us into the hand of the Chaldeans, that they might put us to death, and carry us away captives into Babylon. So Johanan the son of Zariah and all the captains of the forces, and all of the people and all the people obeyed not the voice of the Lord to dwell in the land of Judah. But Johanan the son of Zariah and all the captains of the forces took all the remnant of Judah that were returned from all nations, whither they had been driven to dwell in the land of Judah. Even men and women and children and the king's daughters, and every person that Nebuchadnezzar Adam, the captain of the guard, had left with Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, and Jeremiah the prophet, and Baruch the son of Neriah. So they came into the land of Egypt, for they obeyed not the voice of the Lord. Thus came they even to Tapanus. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah in Tapanus, saying, Take great stones in thine hand, and hide them in the clay in the Brickham which is at the entry of Pharaoh's house in Tapanus, in the sight of the men of Judah, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will send and take Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and will set his throne upon these stones that I have hid, and he shall spread his royal pavilion over them. And when he cometh, he shall smite the land of Egypt, and deliver such as are for dead to death, and such as are for captivity to captivity, and such as are for the sword to the sword. And I will kindle a fire in the houses of the gods of Egypt, and he shall burn them and carry them away captives, and he shall array himself with the land of Egypt. And so shepherds put it on his garment, and he shall go forth from thence in peace. He shall break also the images of Beth Shemesh, that is in the land of Egypt, and the houses of the gods of the Egyptians shall he burn with fire. Jeremiah chapter 44 The word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the Jews which dwell in the land of Egypt, which dwell at Migdol and at Hapanes, and at Nob, and in the country of Patros, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Ye have seen all the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem, and upon all the cities of Judah, and behold, this day they are a desolation, and no man dwelleth therein, because of their wickedness which they had committed to provoke me to anger, in that they went to burn incense and to serve other gods, whom they knew not, neither they, ye, nor your fathers. Howbeit I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, O oh, do not this, O oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. But they hearkened not, nor inclined their ear to turn from their wickedness, to burn no incense unto other gods. Wherefore my fury and mine anger was poured forth, and was kindled in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, and they are wasted and desolate, as at this day. Therefore now thus saith the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, Wherefore commit ye this great evil against your souls, to cut off from you men and women, child and suckling, out of Judah, to leave you none to remain, in that you provoke me unto wrath with the works of your hands, burning incense unto other gods in the land of Egypt, whither, be, whither ye be gone to dwell, that ye might cut yourselves off, that ye might be a curse and a reproach among all the nations, all the nations of the earth. Have ye forgotten the wickedness of your fathers, and the wickedness of the kings of Judah? and the wickedness of their wives, and your own wickedness, and the wickedness of your wives, which they had committed in the land of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem. They are not humbled even unto this day, neither have they feared, nor walked in my law, nor in my statutes, 
that I set before you and before your fathers. Therefore, there saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will set my face against you for evil, and to cut off all Judah. And I will take the remnant of Judah that have set their faces to go into the land of Egypt to sojourn there, and they shall all be consumed and fall into the land of Egypt. They shall even be consumed by the sword and by the famine. They shall die from the least even unto the greatest, by the sword and by the famine, and they shall be an exec- there sh- they shall be an execration and an astonishment and a curse and a reproach. For I will punish them that dwell in the land of Egypt, as I have punished Jerusalem by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, so that none of the remnant of Judah which are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there shall escape or remain, that they should return into the land of Judah, to the which they have a desire to return to dwell there. For none shall return but such as shall escape. Then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods, and all the women that stood by a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt, in Patros, answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee, but we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth, to burn incense unto the king of heaven, and to, and to pour out drink offerings unto her, as we have done, we and our fathers, our kings and our princes, in the cities of Judah, in the, in the, and in the streets of Jerusalem. For then had we plenty of victuals, and were well, and saw no evil. But since we left off the burning sands to the king of heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things, and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. And when he burned incense to the king of heaven, and poured out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her, and pour out drink offerings unto her, without our men? Then Jeremiah said unto all the people, to the men, and to the women, and to all the people which had given him that answer, saying, the incense that he burned in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, ye, and your fathers, your kings, and your princes, and the people of the land, did not the Lord remember them, and came it not into his mind, so that the Lord could no longer bear because of the evil of your doings and because of the abominations which ye have committed, therefore is your land a desolation, and an astonishment, and a curse, without an inhabitant as at this day. Because ye have burned incense, and because ye have sinned against the Lord, and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord, nor walked in his law, nor in his statutes, nor in his testimonies, therefore this evil is happened unto you as at this day. Moreover, Jeremiah said unto all the people, and to all the women, Hear the word of the Lord, O Judah, that are in the land of Egypt. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, Ye and your wives have both spoken, with your mouths, and fulfilled with your hands, saying, We will surely perform our vows, that we have vowed to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto her. We will surely accomplish your vows, and surely perform your vows. Therefore hear ye the word of the Lord, O Judah, that dwell in the land of Egypt. Behold, I have sworn, by my great name, saith the Lord, that my name shall no more be named in the mouth of any man of Judah, in all the land of Egypt, saying, The Lord God liveth. Behold, I will watch over them for evil and not for good. And all the men of Judah that are in the land of Egypt shall be consumed by the sword and by the famine, until there be an end of them. Yet a small number that escape the sword shall return out of the land of Egypt into the land of Judah. And all the remnant of Judah that are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there shall know whose word shall stand, mine or theirs. And this shall be a sign unto you, saith the Lord, that I will punish you in this place, that ye may know that my word shall, shall surely stand against you for evil. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will give Pharaoh Hopa, king of Egypt, into the hand of his enemies, and into the hand of them that seek his life, as I gave Zedekiah, king of Judah, into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar, king of Babylon, his enemy, and that sought his life. Jeremiah chapter 45 the word of Jeremiah the prophet spake unto Baruch the son of Neriah, when he had written these words in a book at the mouth of Jeremiah in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, unto thee, O Baruch, 
That is, say, who is me now, for the Lord had added grief to my sorrow. I fainted in my sighting, and I find no rest. Thus shalt thou say unto him, The Lord saith thus, Behold, that which I have built will I break up, will I break down, and that which I have planned I will pluck up, even this whole land. And seekest thou great things for thyself, seek them not, for behold, I will bring evil upon all flesh, saith the Lord, but thy life will I give unto thee for a prey, in all places, whither thou goest. Alright, now go to Hebrews chapter 5. For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men in things pertaining to God, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins. Who can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way, for that he himself also is compassed with infirmity? And by reason hereof he ought, as for the people, so also for himself, to offer for sins. And no man taketh this honor unto himself, but he that is called of God, as was Aaron. So also Christ glorified not himself to be made an high priest, but he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today have I begotten thee. As he saith also in another place, Thou art a priest forever, after the order of Melchizedek, who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplications, with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death, and was heard in that he feared. Though he were a son, he had learned he visions by the things which he suffered, and being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Called of God and high priest after the order of Melchizedek, of whom we have many things to say, and hard to be authored, seeing ye are dull of hearing. For when... For the entire ye ought to be teachers, ye have needed one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God, and are become such as have need of milk, and not of strong meat. For every one that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Right, we're done with the Bible reading. Again, this is for day 312, a Bible in one year, and we read Jeremiah chapters 43 to 45, and then Hebrews chapter 5. Thank you, and God bless.